Utah Jazz visit the San Antonio Spurs. The Jazz here, short, well, middle, middling favorites of minus four and a half points, minus 190 on the money line, 235 and a half on the total. And as hard as it is to really bet on either one of these teams, I really like the spot for the Jazz tonight. They're finally healthy. Everybody is back. They've cleared the injury report. And it's one of those teams where uh, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. And you need all the parts. You need Colin Sexton coming off the bench and providing some of that offense. You need Mike Conley out there kind of slowing everybody down and being the leader on the floor. You need marketing, creating space. Um, you know, no Kelly Olenek tonight, but that'll be fine. Um, Utah has all the right elements here. And San Antonio is as kind of frisky as they've been here for the last week or so. It's finally back to kind of losing games pretty comfortably here. This is kind of a funky schedule spot for them. It's the first night of a back-to-back, -back and they have to be on the road tomorrow. So I'm going to lay the points of the Jazz here. I had this closer to six, six and a half. So I'll lay minus four and a half. Um, what were you thinking of this matchup, Ski? Well, I will lean towards the Jazz, and I don't feel very comfortable doing it. My reason is because, you know, I don't think they've been too profitable this year as a favorite. I think it's five and nine or something like that. But the Spurs have been, you know, that bad. And just looking at some of these season-long stats, Spurs are the worst team in the league defending the three. And you have um, the Jazz top ten shooting it. You have – my bad. I think I said that wrong. Let me just – let me let me back up no, a little bit. That's okay. Bit. Take it back. Jazz – Three-point percentage, they're number eight compared to, you know, number 20 for the Spurs. And as far as the three-point defense, Spurs are dead last and Jazz are top 10. So that's how you win by margin, shooting the three well, defending the three well, along with uh, rebounding and stuff like that. So all the stats, last five game stats, says Jazz have been doing those things better, and that's the way I would lean. Nothing official, though. Yeah, it makes sense. And you're right. The Jazz just five and seven here as favorites, but 10 and eight on the road. So you're at a slight profitability there. The San Antonio Spurs, I mean, they've been bad overall, but especially so at home, seven and 11 so far this year. So a couple of those numbers working in our favor, but give me the Jazz tonight again. Love when they're fully healthy. This team, I think, will be back to doing what they did kind of the first couple of weeks of the season here and put away a bad team in San Antonio. So I'll lay the four and a half with Utah. 